diet is such an interesting thing because uh, we got none of it in medical school. And any documentary you ever see or an interview with a doctor, they'll say that. And that's absolutely true. You know, and then as I a couple years ago started kind of looking into the research and saying there has to be actual medical science about this, I feel like I wandered into a holy war. And it, it still continues to surprise me how people get so defensive. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not a religious person. I'm not going to, you know, ask you to put your religious beliefs if you have any. But like, it, I mean, I, I get it in a way that people sort of take these things as being holy. But it's like it's like politics, religion and diet are these yeah. things that people get, they get so defensive about. And I just I don't really get it. Maybe it's the naive scientist in me that is like, but if the that the data not like well i i ate a burger once and i felt great that's not science mm -hmm. you know but if you try to you know whether it's there's citations in the movie or whether it's different things it's just people get so defensive about it what do you think that is where does that come from well most people have not a they haven't really chosen their diet and b they if they do choose their diet they're not choosing it based off information or science usually they're they're choosing based off emotion or basically doing what most people do, which is kind of following the herd mentality of eating what everybody else eats, eating what society eats, eating what has traditionally and culturally just been eaten. And so when you ask people why they eat the way they do, usually they actually have to think about it and come up with actually a post hoc or an after the fact reason for why they eat that, not the initial reason why they actually did start eating that way, which is because my parents told me to eat this way right. and because I was told these things. And so it's it's different. It's not a front brain thing it's actually more of like a reptilian brain mm -hmm. response in my opinion and so when you're challenging their diet you're actually sort of challenging their family and challenging their culture and challenging them yeah. emotionally which definitely and and i would say it's a little bit different for vegans but then there's still the emotional aspect especially because you know it's people are harming animals and there's all these other things involved with it so yeah religion or really <laughs> Diet has been really hard to talk about and it's getting harder to talk about. Like people get more triggered all the time. And that's why I think there was a study a couple years ago, which I don't actually agree with the findings in the larger perspective of society, but it was covered by The Guardian recently, uh, Why People Hate Vegans, saying it claimed, based off surveys, that vegans were more discriminated against than any other group, religious or hmm. racial or otherwise, except for drug addicts. Okay. Which... That's what they found. It was on paper. I still don't agree with it. Like if, if somebody is racist, they're going to immediately see somebody who is black or whatever, you know, ethnicity they're racist against and immediately judge them. But a vegan, like you can't do that. You have to find out what their opinion is unless they're wearing a vegan shirt. Right. But I found that really interesting. Like people are now more triggered by a dietary choice than pretty much anything else. I, I still believe that's part of it. But again, like I don't want to put this up against racism because, you know, no vegan has been lynched knock on wood hopefully it won't happen <laughs> like there's a totally it's a totally different scale but just on paper like these are the findings that we can get like that's how much people hate vegans like that blows my mind tied down and forced to eat a hot dog yeah <laughs> yeah you know, that's the cool lunch lunch I, I mean it just it's uh I, I just i just continually find it to be interesting because it's in a world where uh again to show a bit of my own hand i think so much leeway is given to religiosity that makes no sense but it's well we can't we couldn't possibly speak against that because it's their religion and we have to respect their beliefs and we have to so forth you know uh it doesn't seem that way there seem to be these really ensconced like world war one trench level you know diets of like no i'm in the paleo camp and oh, i'm yeah, gonna die on this hill <laughs> and i don't care how much study you show me or how blocked my <laughs> arteries are yeah you know, right. you know um you know, kevin smith was on rogan not that long ago and mm -hmm. kevin smith had a heart attack a couple years ago I mean, and went vegan. vegan he's dropped all this weight and he said in that the doctor looked at my heart which i assume he did an angiogram and mm -hmm. he said if he didn't know where the blockage had been he wouldn't have known yeah. he had a heart attack. I texted Insane. you when I yeah. heard that, yeah, yeah. you know, because, you know, Esselstyn and the, the, my very favorite study, the Esselstyn study where he has the, the angiogram before and after and you can see the recession of the plaque. But I mean, that was a bold statement that even Rogan didn't have anything to say yeah. back to. But it's like, no, I'm committed to this. It, it's again, it, it feels very much to me like no, I said I was going to follow this, whatever. I'm a Steelers fan, and it doesn't matter. that I don't know. It's just maybe it's just that, that tribal thing. I don't know. And I think that's what does trigger people more. Like if you 
come up to somebody as a Hindu and say, hey, stop eating beef because it's against my religion. I don't think you should be eating it. Versus a vegan coming up and saying, hey, you should stop eating beef because you can reverse your heart disease potentially if you stop eating more stuff too. And here are the environmental effects. Here are these studies. Like there is a validity to that and an undeniable you know, inf- you know, information source for that that I feel like it's almost more, they feel like they are doing something wrong even more. It's kind of hard, hard phenomenon to describe, but you can be more triggered by that than just somebody's spiritual belief. 